Chuseok, guys. If you're not living in Korea, um, Chuseok is the biggest family holiday here. And it's like a Thanksgiving or whatever. I don't really know about Thanksgiving because we don't have Thanksgiving in Denmark either. So um, yeah, but everyone is meeting up with their families and having a good time with them. Having a lot of like family rituals or whatever. And that's why I'm home alone this morning because Jake is heading off to one side of his family today. And then tomorrow I'm joining him for the other side of the family which I'm a little bit nervous about because it's my first Chuseok with a Korean family. <laughs> so I'm trying to have a couple of days where I really focus on living slow for myself and feeling myself a little deeper because I feel like I'm... I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this feeling but I just have some negative energy inside of me. I feel like I feel like I get easily irritated, I get easily hurt um, these days and my head is spinning around a lot so I want to try to like cleanse myself out and get back to my roots right now I don't really know what it triggered it but I guess sometimes that's just how it is but um, also one thing that I want to show you guys look what I got done this is my new nails who am I? Like, who the, who the hell is this girl? Like, this girl is my alter ego, or like, what should we call them? Is this Sicily? This is Sicily, I feel like, with these nails. Now I can take, like, cute pictures like this. I could before, too. But, you know, I, I don't know, like, you probably have noticed that, but I have um, a pretty bad habit of, like, nipping at my nails with... <laughs> So technically biting my nails. I have a bad habit with that. Um, I'm trying not to be ashamed of it, of it since like the, there's a little bit of little child stigma about that but I've done it since I was a kid and I just never stopped and it's frustrating because my nails are already really thin because that's just my Scandinavian genes, my hair is like that, my nails like that. It's just like that but even if I nip at them like they never get long and they never get strong enough to become long so I got these like nail extensions yesterday yeah anyways i'm meeting angelina and kayla but first angelina and soul forest so i think it's time to get dressed and head out i don't know if i'm feeling like something like this a little bit more crazy on the top this is from paloma wool i just received it a couple of days ago and it's so soft it's so beautiful Okay, here we have the outfit of today. I ended up wearing my Paloma Wu shirt and then I went ahead and paired it with the sweatpants that I was already wearing. This is an Eteria Wool from Viplement or VP Plement. They're so soft and I thought if I'm feeling like this, might as well just stay in my pajamas. It's comfortable, it's nice and it's soft. I put on my huge ass blazer, which is basically Jake's, but basically mine by now from Mushinsa Standard. And we have the Paloma Wu bag, which is so gorgeous look at this color i thought since it's officially fall might as well put on some big boots even though it's probably gonna be really hot but it's so, okay let's head out i'm a little late again Angelina. She just got a coffee and she's about to arrive. 
I made a video about before about how it just feels so surreal sitting in Seoul Forest because you can't hear any traffic. Like it's like you're not in the middle of the city. It's kind of crazy. It feels really healing. You look gorgeous. What the hell? What the hell? It's all for you. I feel like I haven't seen you. Okay, you got taller? No, platform. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Let's have a look at Jenny's little sketchbook. <gasps> My goodness! That's actually, this was the first, I think, or that, That's the little... Oh, I skipped some. Oh, oh little wall. <laughs> like, wall Chase, rest. actually that was kind of a... So I figured I was quite stubborn and I was trying to think of the reasons how to be less stubborn. <laughs> so I was writing yeah. down. So, how to reduce stubbornness? How do I reduce stubbornness? Minimalize judgment on the other person um, or the course of action. Remind yourself that you're just a human and that you're not always right. Let people have their own way on matters of importance to them that don't harm, harm you. So, and then- That's really beautiful though. That's really something I struggle with as well. Me too. Um, oh my God, that's Bella Hadid. No, that's just like... What? It looks like Bella Hadid! It does? I think Can it, you see it, it? it looks like you kind of right now really? as I look at it. You're a fast learner, dude. <laughs> I can't anymore. Okay, Five 
Yeah, because these are usually really big, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> you saw her before, right? Did you see her before? Yes, I think so. You did? Oh, and then here? coffee job and you, you drink wine with you. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's what, <laughs> do you remember? That's when we were um, down by oh the god. when we were, we you were before you left to Denmark. It was when I came back from Richmond. Oh, oh my god! And I love your sneakers. Nice yeah, sneakers. Well, like me. Oh, yeah. You made them? Oh, custom? <gasps> they're really so, nice. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, yeah. I just want to help her find you too. I love it. One, two, go. Oh, I nailed that. <laughs> okay, what's what next? Oh, uh, uh, I'll, oh I'll do. Okay, uh, and then now we pick our noses and like make like a poke. Yeah, any oh, nice quality. Wait. Oh, the two, two are here. Oh, they're here, Kayla. They were oh, together. Oh, they did come out. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. Nomukiyo. We're photo, and then this would have to be mine because my face has scrunched into like two centimeters. <laughs> Nomukiyo. Okay, so we have the noses. Okay, so we're going to pick our noses. Okay, let's 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 pick our noses. Okay, I'm watching all you. Okay. 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 The streamer. I'm nerd. I'll throw that one. So we're gonna go in the video. <laughs> <laughs> we're all having a girls' picnic today. It's gonna be so fun. I feel like I really need that after um, our last time together, like Kayla and Angelina and me. I felt so recharged. Like it's so healing to be with people who inspires you and make you feel good. And I always leave their company feeling amazing about myself and about them and my life so uh, especially when I was feeling like that a couple of days ago where I was just too in my own negative circle I would say but there was a full moon in Pisces and that one really roughed it up I feel like but I um, bought some long incense sticks here I kind of want to take them with me to the picnic so we can have like some incense burning so throughout Chuseok, I actually kind of went back into a little bit of a back, bad mindset and such. Um, we're having his parents over and I was actually going to film it. And I did film a little bit, but I ended up being so stressed and my stress turning into anxiety. Um, I have not really dealt with anxiety. Like I haven't experienced that much, but I definitely felt that coming throughout Chuseok and I think it was just a lot of things that kind of like bottled up at once and so I kind of had a little breakdown and I had to stop filming which is also why this video is out in the weekend instead of Wednesday. I did lots of grounding yoga, some like root chakra yoga and meditation as well to kind of like balance myself because personally I see such a huge difference when I when I do yoga and when I meditate in general, just my whole energy level just grounds down and I feel a lot more clear-headed and calm. Whereas when I'm stressed, I'm anything else than calm. Like I am all the way up in this other dimension, functioning weirdly. Like just surviving, I think, is the right <laughs> word to use. 
So it has been kind of like a couple of days where I really had to recharge, I think. So now I'm ready to film again. So today we're having this amazing girls picnic. Um, how, why can I not open this? This is so difficult. We kind of like um, all have decided on like a look that we want to do. We want to do some from different eras. I think I'm going to be a little bit like twiggy. 70s hippie mood <laughs> i don't know i also think i'm just gonna wear all black so it's kind of be a little bit gothy too this one is called black ode Oof. okay they're actually not as long as i had expected them to be how many bottles should we get of natural wine should we get three you can get three right I see this coming over here in maybe 10, 20 minutes time. And we're going to have a bit of a talk about the podcast. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait to get back into recording. Vi så os, så sagde du, du har fået så mange blomster i fødselsdagsgave, ikke? Ja. Yeah. Og så var jeg sådan... Okay. <laughs> så måske, måske har jeg så ikke givet blomster, det gider jeg jo ikke. Oh no! Og så, har jeg, så tænkte jeg bare, at jeg har været rigtig cheesy. Nu døde de blomster. Åh, <laughs> oh, det er dybt! Det er en sangtitel i det der! <laughs> det er en Ja, det er Det er vores bak. Det er sej. <laughs> det er en overvejet lyst. <laughs> Immortal flowers. Yeah. I look cute. Yeah. This is the uh, suggestion to a podcast intro. Mm. Time to do the makeup! Now this is literally the fun part. I have experienced a bit a couple of days ago with a makeup where I did like super dark makeup look and it was so fun! Like I forgot how much I enjoyed experimenting with makeup. Whoa, the background just got all pink. I'm thinking of like having some like extra eyeliner up here, like super twiggy kind of style. Although she did a little bit more of a cut crease, I want to do a little bit more holographic. Let's see. I think my base, we're gonna go with the Etude House really like purple look. It's gonna be interesting. like all black but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a white skirt or a black skirt but I think I'm gonna go with a black shirt here
We're ready! <laughs> okay, time to go and get a wine and then we're gonna head to Tuxam Park. Yeah. Let's go! I love that you said a wine as if we're just getting wine. <laughs> a wine? <laughs> In plural, please. <laughs> She has a fashion show tomorrow, so it's gonna be us three girls. <laughs> three people, four bottles of wine, and lots three, of love. Lots of love, love, lots of biscuits. Lots of biscuits. Biscuits and. Oh, the look. <laughs> Hvad skal der her? Det lugter tisligt, hvor slet er det? Der er sådan lidt af bræk. Ej, ja, bræk. Er der nogen, der er bræk? Det er virkelig klamt, det der. Orange wine. Jeg ved hvad, jeg har bare lyst til at ringe på liv. Hvad fanden er det? Er det æren eller sådan noget, der falder ned deroppe? Hvad er det? Ej, det er sgu da en fugl. Kan du se de fjerde? Er der en fugl bag nu? Nej! Er der en fugl der lige er død? Ej, nej! Ej, jeg tør ikke gå op! Ej, Sille, du gør det! Ej, Sille! Ej, nej, nej! Er det det? Ja! Er den lige faldet ned? Ej, den er, er den stadig levende? Nej, den, er, den lever ikke! Ej! bird suddenly laying there and there's a bone on the ground now i think someone is throwing half of a bird down on us <laughs> this is so creepy it's so creepy and listen yeah. like dunk, dunk. i thought it was like a little bean or something and it has a bone like... from a bird yeah <laughs> Once I kind of started loving my, like myself and the things that I loved in my life were me and the fact that I wanted to make my health and my well-being and kind of prioritize that over just earning lots of income and being constantly busy and then really putting my health and mental state as a secondary thing. Once I kind of switched that mindset, all of a sudden those things that I had kind of wanted like you know romance and love and things like that all of a sudden started naturally kind of attracting because I think once you kind of love yourself those sort of things like naturally are attracted Welcome to the Silla and Sissel podcast. 
today, we will be talking about quacks <laughs> <laughs> and trying to do their honest-to-God best.